Amy Klobuchar, the NAACP and Black Lives Matter calling on her to suspend her campaign. So uh, Klobuchar is being called to suspend her presidential campaign after an Associated Press story published Tuesday offered a critical account of her handling of a case when she was Hennepin County's district attorney. Uh, so this, the thing that they're pointing out as well is she's bringing up this particular case uh, and one and another one that's very similar to it, um, basically saying, and she's bringing it up on the campaign trail, being like, look, I, I was a good prosecutor. There was this case and they didn't, it was a, a child who was shot and they didn't find the shooter and we got them and they're arrested and the streets are safer now. And there's a lot of like, <laughs> yeah, well, we did a little bit of looking into how you did that. And it appears that you used coerced uh, confessions or coerced statements from individuals who were in prison who later recanted their testimonies. And there are other people who are in prison who have actually um, confessed to these murders. So someone else has been imprisoned, uh, it seems very wrongfully uh, in this case. Now, ultimately, the, um, some of the later parts of that happened after she was uh, no longer the um, prosecutor in Hennepin County. Uh, but th but this is this is sort of a diminishing of you know justice. This is this is trying to to steal the credit for something that was done when it clearly was has not brought any resolve to the family. In fact, one of the main people who is calling for her to resign and, and does not accept the the actual uh, verdict that they, that was brought down on the individual who was arrested for this murder does not believe that that person committed the murder. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, this is just sort of like, this is trying to use your record as a prosecutor to your favor and it not being a good record in the first place. Well, if she's having any trouble, she should just go ahead and ask Kamala Harris how to deal with it. She'll probably get a similar response. Yeah, this is a, probably, if you're running for president and you're in the situation you're at, that's maybe one of the worst things to come out that the person that you're building your entire case on about how good you are as a prosecutor from a northern state uh, is that you arrested the wrong person out of coerced testimony and someone else was free in that time. Probably not the best thing to tie your presidential career on or that you're... This is another issue that that comes with it. This is not just like linked to A.B. Klobuchar, but it's in a very similar state. Why is it that like all of the lawyers and and it's a very specific job set that run for office the DAs or you know the prosecutors and then you have the, it's basically like lawyers and prosecutors which are lawyers we don't we we need fewer lawyers to run for office. We need lawyers to work under, like your AOCs. They need lawyers helping her out, figuring out how to, you know, how to write a law or how to interpret law that's out there or whatever she needs to do. But we don't need lawyers running the country. This is a lot of how we got it. so many of America, so much of America is lawyers. And why is that? Well, they're generally people that can afford to do it. They already have rubbed shoulders with all the people that are going to give them money. Uh, it makes a lot of sense if you're a neoliberal person running that. And so Amy Klobuchar, um, you know, why don't you just drop out? Actually, wait, don't drop out. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep splitting the vote so that establishment people can't get a lock while Bernie Sanders scoops this up and takes it away. And we're going to be talking a little bit about that later. But mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, here's an interesting quote. What I need people to understand is this isn't about partisanship and this isn't about politics. Leslie Redmond, president of Minneapolis NAACP, said in a press conference, this is about justice. This isn't just a situation that happened to, uh, to the Central Park Five alone. This is a situation that happens all around America. This is a situation that happens right here in Minnesota. Young people, young adults were given life sentences to rot away in prison, uh, Redmond continued. This benefits no one. However, it does benefit politicians who use criminal justice system to benefit their political careers. Enough is enough. It's amazing to me that politicians continue to use uh, their careers in the justice system uh, and frame them in a way that's, that's really excellent and, you know, look at me, I'm bringing safety and security to our community. It's like, no, you're, you're bringing fear and oppression to your community. That's what you're doing. You're locking up innocent people. You're, you're, you're instituting fear in uh, low-income and minority communities. 
Uh, we're criminalizing behaviors that shouldn't be, uh, like you know, uh, drug possession or or things like that. Jaywalking. Jaywalk. Yeah, it's ridiculous, uh, and. This is the kind of thing that should be called out, and it's it's amazing and disgusting to me that uh, politicians somehow spin it as though it was this great thing that they did, and they're bringing you know prosperity by protecting their city. Uh. Yeah, and it's it's exactly this is like Amy Klobuchar is just one comb throwing woman. There are many like her throughout the country. I mean, literally in this election, it's like we've had two prosecutors running, and they're the the law and order candidates. This is exactly what we need to move away from. And again, a lot of the reason these people are able to run in the first place is because of the system that has been set up and currently exists in the country. Because right now, they're reading hacks. They're not stupid people. They're reading the tea leaves. They're reading the playbooks that have been written over the last 40 years on how to win and what's going to lose. And luckily, right now, we're at a spot where that rule book and what that means and the value of it is changing. It's people like us watching this, all the other channels, progressives as a whole, but not just that, the populists, even on both sides, that are literally viscerally reacting, almost like, like an immune system response to a body, to the destruction and the... just Again, you can't run a country with lawyers. You can make a really big legal tome with lawyers. You can pass laws that have the most clever loopholes that you can make of and think of with lawyers, but you don't. You can't get that heart. It's a very. It's it's. it's there's no diversity. We talk so much about diversity in representation, diversity in Congress. What's the point of having a you know a quarter black woman, a quarter white woman, a quarter. Uh, Latino men, uh, a quarter white men, if all of them are lawyers, that all take corporate money. Mm -hmm. We need to have diversity, but we need to have people that are tied to the people, more importantly. And those people are everywhere because we're all human. And there's going to be an even distribution of people out there who want to do this on any demographic. It's just the job of the community to find the people in your community who are leaders, who are people that do care, and put them in a position where the people elect them, where the people maintain them, and businesses don't.